Malcolm, this is this is one of the, again, we spoke about this a few minutes ago, but a hard thing for a lot of Americans to wrap their brains around in terms of what do the Palestinian people really feel about Hamas? Look, if you see the celebrations when the boys, the Israeli boys were captured, when, when you have a movement like Hamas, which exists to kill, Israel sometimes has to kill to exist. Hamas's very essence and reason for being is to destroy, not to build. And the, the support that they have, the fact that young people rally to their cause, the fact now that we have Palestinian Islamic Jihad there, and the caller is absolutely right. When we go to the core, this is one battle that we're engaged in. It's a global battle. And at the center of it is Iran. Iran helped build this machine of Hamas's. They supplied it with money. They got angry at them because they didn't support uh, Assad. They supported the rebels. But they continued to back them. And they're back Palestinian. Islamic Jihad in Israel this year intercepted a ship going there with long-range missiles coming from Iran that was supposed to go through the Sudan as they are supplying the terrorists in the Sinai. And it's interesting to note that none of the other Arab countries, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, the UAE, even the Palestinian Authority, have sided with Israel. They're not siding with Hamas because they recognize that this is a universal threat to the region and that it is part of the larger threat that we see that is undermining the, quote, moderate regimes of the area. I want to bring in the mother of an Israeli Defense Forces soldier. Jessica is joining us here on Line 4. Hey, Jessica, say hello to Malcolm Holmline. How are you, Jessica? I am well. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. I am a mother of a lone soldier from our country. We were not born there. I, I just want to know your thoughts on um, how our president views this matter. He doesn't seem to be in full support. And what the media has showed our people, the Americans, is skewed. And it, I find it very frustrating. It's a great question, Malcolm. And what, what are your thoughts about President Obama's response to this uh, to this reign of terror right now by Hamas? Look, the United States and Israel are bound by so many common interests and values. So the overwhelming vote in Congress to support uh, Iron Dome to give additional funding, which the president did sign yesterday, and the military and intelligence cooperation is as good as it has ever been because we're fighting the same enemy, and we are. And the powers that want to destroy Israel is, as the little Satan, see America as the great Satan. I will say we were disappointed and, and hurt by the comments, some of the comments, especially this weekend, where they uh, portrayed the attack uh, on the school without knowing the facts, without waiting to see who's responsible, how did it happen. It's regrettable. No one wants to see an attack on a school. Nobody wants to see innocent civilians die. But I think that the... Uh, I mean, look, the United States stood with Israel at the United Nations in the recent vote. So the U.S.-Israel relationship is strong. The American people are strong in the relationship with the United States, with Israel and the United States, support the special relationship. And and I think that uh, while there have been some comments that we have differed with and, and taken exception to, uh, that relationship is going to remain strong no matter what.